Okay, uh, we're standing here with Yuji Matsumochi of Honda R&D, who's responsible for the engine development for the 2016 Civic family. And in front of him is a 1.5 liter turbo cutaway. And he's going to give us a rundown of uh, some of the new technologies in this amazing engine. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Yuji Matsumochi. Uh, I will introduce our 1.5 liter new engine. First of all, this is a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. For this new Civic, to further improve the handling performance, we work to make the engine small and compact. First, let me explain more about the turbocharger. The maximum output of the engine is 174 horsepower. And the maximum torque is 162 uh, foot-pounds of torque. Uh, it's the highest output engine in this class. Let me explain some of the characteristics of the turbo. To improve the responsiveness, we went with a small turbo. Furthermore, to improve the output of the engine, we worked on our var variable valve train system. We have both intake and exhaust VTC on this engine. There were various technical innovations we made to improve the output of the engine. We optimized the valve train. We also applied an electric wastegate for boost control of the turbo. And with this, we improved both the output and the fuel economy. The biggest issue for turbochargers is cooling performance. We're, we were able to achieve a lot of that high output due to uh, work we made to improve the cooling performance of the cylinder head. We increased efficiency by working to further cool the exhaust gas temperature. This is the intercooler. So here is the turbo, the intake air comes here and is compressed, then it gets pushed through this intercooler here. This is a very low pressure loss intercooler which helps to push the, push the air through and increase the charge efficiency. The air, the well-cooled air comes around through here, through the throttle body, comes in through the short intake manifold and enters into the combustion chamber. Here is that combustion chamber. We also needed to do development on the, comp the combustion chamber in order to increase the output and improve the fuel efficiency. This is what we call a high tumble flow intake port. If you look 
you can see the chin shape or ramp shape that we added to increase the tumble flow ratio. See, it looks like a ramp or a ski jump. This helps to strengthen the tumble flow of the air coming into the combustion chamber. We also worked to make the pistons as flat as possible. We worked on the shape of the piston crown head and you can see the large radius there. That helps to take the air that comes in and helps to promote that tumble flow uh, vertically in the combustion chamber. Next, I'll talk about the knocking improvements that we made. It's, it's easiest for knocking to occur here at the top of the combustion chamber. This is the area that gets hottest, so we have this very small and narrow bore bridge slit that you can see there. Water passes through there very quickly and works to cool that area. Uh, the faster flow of water through the small uh, bore bridge slit helps to act as, uh, uh, helps to reduce the temperature, helps to, hold on one second, helps to, helps to cool it. Okay. So the, you're talking about this here, these little holes? This is the little holes. This is the little holes. Now, normally, those bore bridge slits in other engines are deeper and thicker. Okay. As I mentioned before, we deliberately made those bore bridge slits smaller so that the flow of water through them would be faster. It's basically straight across right there. Okay. So there's a straight line right between the bores. Straight through the block. Yes. Okay. え、それ一番熱いところ。で、あのスレットの中で水が早く流れて、流れて、それは熱を交換となります。Is that's the hottest area of the engine. The water flows through there very quickly. And that helps with the heat exchange. Next, there are sodium-filled exhaust valves, which you can't see here, which are on the other side. We run this engine with higher exhaust gas temperatures in order to improve the efficiency of the turbo. We apply these sodium filled exhaust valves in order to help maintain the strength of the valve area against the higher temperatures and also in turn to help improve knocking. Next, I'd like to show some of the light weighting technologies that we added to this engine. The engine size we have here is an 80 millimeter bore pitch. The bore pitch is this distance. The diameter of the bore is 73 millimeters. We also worked on making the crankshaft and con rods as light as possible. Uh, 
Normally, when you have high, high output engines like this, you have to make the crankshaft counterweights thick and heavy to handle things. However, with the crankshaft and the conrods on this engine, we worked to optimize their design. We also developed new materials, all to help reduce their weight. It is forged, so as part of our efforts to reduce the weight of the crankshaft, we reduce the number of counterweights. So this is what we call a four-weight crankshaft. We also worked on the polishing of the main journal and crankshaft journals to further reduce friction. We also developed new forging technology for the conrods to make it smaller and lighter. We were able to, we were able to achieve the light weighting of the engine and a lot of friction reduction through those efforts to optimize the crankshaft and the conrods. And these are just steel. Tetsu desu ka? Yes. The, the crankshaft and the conrod are both steel. The, both the head and the block and the other pieces were designed, designed in-house by Honda and are manufactured in-house by Honda. Fit to engine seke to no kankei skoshi setsumei dekimasu ka? Fit no engine seke to no kankei wa bore pitch mori desu. So the, the, really the only connection to the fit engine is that same bore pitch. Okay. Sori igai wa all new desu. Other than that, everything's new. Okay. Fit to intake, but one big difference between this and the fit engine is that the orientation of the intake and in the exhaust are reversed. That's because the front side of the engine has the turbo on it, and we wanted to cool it as much as possible. This is the high pressure pump. The pump provides uh, the high fuel pressure for the direct injection system. And yes, there is a driving cam inside there. And the fuel that is supplied by that high pressure pump comes around to the uh, injectors, which are right here. What is the operating pressure? So no atsu de okwa, nen atsu wa? That's a secret. Ah, uh, okay. 18 mega ka. Okay. But but we use it up to about 18 or 20 megapascal desu ka? 18 to 20 megapascals. Okay.